Now let's take a look in the ETS how to set up the remote maintenance. First, we need to insert the applications for the KNX IP interface and the additional function. We do this by entering the article number in the ETS catalog and we find both applications. For this demonstration, we already insert the applications and the device certificates. We start with set up the main application. In the properties, we see that in default, the secure tunneling is deactivated. This is necessary to use the remote maintenance, so we are going to activate it. In the tab IP, we can choose for a DHCP IP address or reset a fixed IP address. Also, the ETS is generating a commissioning password, which can be modified, as we have done in this example. It's important to remember the commissioning password because it is necessary to be able to make a tunnel connection. Now the main application has been set up and can be downloaded. We put the device in programming mode by pressing the programming button once. The second step is to set up the additional function. In the parameters, under remote maintenance, we first enter the activation code, which can you copy and paste from the MyYoung account after buying the license. It is possible to have the remote maintenance automatically close after 15 minutes up to 24 hours. In the next two parameters, we define what should happen with secure tunneling after a remote connection or after a device restart. By default, this is off, which means that after a remote connection or a restart, the secure tunneling is deactivated, making it possible to establish a tunnel connection with, for example, the Smart Fiso server. When the remote maintenance is activated by the customer by a visualization or push button, the secure tunneling is activated. All unsecure connections are kept and the new connections must be IP secure, which means that the customer can continue to use his visualization, for example, the Smart Visa server, during a remote maintenance connection. After the group objects have been linked with group addresses, we can download the application. Now the ETS will ask for a commissioning password because the secure tunneling is activated. To set the device in programming mode for the additional function, we need to press the programming button twice. It's important to know that after this download of the additional application, the secure tunneling is still in the main application active. And it's currently not possible to make a new connection with, for example, the Smart Fiso server. As a third step, we will look in the ETS app, Young IPS Remote. When we open the app, we see all the devices in the installation for which the remote maintenance can be used. This can be the KNX IP interface or the power supply with integrated IP interface. 
In our demonstration, we used the Archaeonix IP interface that we selected and pressed to synchronize. Now we get the message that the IP interface is going restart. After the synchronization, the secure tunneling is deactivated, allowing a new connection via unsecure tunneling. Finally, I want to show how a remote maintenance can be activated. We activate the remote maintenance via the Smart Fiesel server. We see that the secure tunneling is active and that there is a server connection. Also on the display of the device, we see that the remote, main th the remote access service is opened. In the ETS app, we select the IP interface and we press connect. Now we see that we can make use of the IPS remote service. The IPS remote interface is showing up in Discover devices with all secure tunnels. When we selecting, for example, no specific address, and we go to diagnostics, start it, then we will ask for the commissioning password. By entering, we will see that the bus traffic is there. Also in the visualization, we see that there is data traffic between the cloud and the installation of the client by an activated PC symbol. When I stop the connection in diagnostics, we will see that after a few moments, the PC symbol will be inactive. To end the remote maintenance, we press disconnect, close the ETS app or the ETS program. We contact the customer that the adjustments have been made and that they can turn off the remote maintenance. And we see that the secure tunneling is deactivated and that there is no server connection anymore. These were the steps in ETS.